What is up guys, Triforce Caboose here, hope you all are doing well today. Stopping by before we look at a previous stream to send some love your way, I hope you guys all are doing well. If you want to talk with me live, I can be found over at twitch.tv forward slash Triforce Caboose. Always streaming and having a good time, I'd love to chat and get to hang out with you. All the links for that and my social media will be down in the description below. And while you're down there, maybe take a second to hit the notification bell or the like button or the subscribe button. Always stay up to date on what I'm doing. I'd love to get to spend some time with you. But without me running my mouth, let's get right back into this video. But I hope you all are doing well. Be safe and be good people, my friends. All right, who are we reading to first, Colt? <laughs> by any chance, have you read anything by Shell Silverstein? Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> I like he don't like that I mentioned Shel Silverstein like an hour ago, and now she's talking about it. Pretty ironic. Monica, would you like to read my poem now? Absolutely. Oh, Jesus. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. Endless cacophony of meaningless noise. It won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sign, cosign, chit. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. <laughs> I wish I never scrolled down. What does that mean? There's something awful about that. Like, load me is a term you can't say to people. No, I don't want it. What? Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. When something unexpected may happen. <laughs> I, I'm about to save. <laughs> Wait, is that tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Ah, that's my advice for the day. Your best girl's giving me weird vibes. Said to load me. Yeah, she's still best I see. Girl. It's a bit different. Are you inspired by Natsuki's poem? Eagles can fly? Or Sayori's, perhaps? Backfist? <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> I thought so. To which one? Which... <laughs> Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. Down anything you see or hear. That's one way to truly enable your readers to see into your mind. I have a, well, an example if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? She nods and timidly hands me her poem. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem's about. It could just be literally what it says. That she fed a raccoon bread and she liked it. It's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. But sometimes I enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Because... <laughs> Colt's like, oh, frick, no, he's saving. All right, Colt, we got to power through about 30 minutes of this. We just got to, like, focus it in, hone it in. All right, who's next? I say worry for last. Don't forget who the real pro is. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, airy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy does have a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends like to start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps them private. And it doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. And the world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yeah, Amy's a spider lover and she can fly. <laughs> yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that's the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem, right? We hate Amy. I doubt I have to explain that. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. Amy, spiders hate. <laughs> and it helps people realize how stupid they're being, like Amy. Like anyone who agreed the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. We see Amy liking spiders and we hate her. Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. Even though I wrote a poem about hating Amy for liking spiders. I think people really need to learn to respect each other for liking weird things. Except spiders. <laughs> Call on that save station train. Oh, I like this one, Daddy. It has some nice feelings in it. 
Your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's <clears throat> poem better. Eh, I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own good. What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out poems, if they're good or bad, but that's why I just go by my heart. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Why don't you at least try to give it some thought? Um, I guess I like happy poems. Wait. Sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes I like a bit of both. A little happy sad, a little ying to the yang, a little sweet to the sour, a little happy to the naughty, you know what I mean? There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet duality. Yeah! <laughs> I can't see you walking something sad, so you are. Well, you don't know me very well. <laughs> you can read my poem now, okay? Models. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all of my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. There's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle I like to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. And down comes a bottle to save the day. Night more dreams. Friend after friend more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. It's like exploring a dark cave. Discovering the secrets within every nook and cranny. Digging and digging, reaping and scraping, blow the dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time's elapsed, my empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, they open up and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelves one after another, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. And every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends aren't smiling. They are all shouting, pleading, something. All I hear is an echo, 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 inside my head. Holy crap. Say, so, where did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write my best poem ever? Yeah, but... Writing's the best. I'm going to keep writing until I die. <laughs> uh, don't get ahead of yourself. I like, always had a bad habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. All right, everyone. Is this about the festival? A well, sort of. Um, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Did you not like the poem or did you not like it because of Hulk reading it like that and making it creepy? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. I'm, I'm performing breakfast. <laughs> and if it takes standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Ugh. Uh, Asuki and Yuri remain silent. I guess it leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. You're just going with this because of Monica. Well, yeah. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Eagles Can Fly. <laughs> <laughs> Eagles Can Fly! I guess I next said this one's called Eagles Can Fly. <laughs> she didn't rock that one. You see Natsuki like, wait, I wrote that poem. <laughs> I, I took it and it's mine now. I think that's about it for today. If it's for the sake of the club, blood in, blood out. And impressing Monica. How did you tailor this toward Monica? I don't know, but it worked. You just willed it into existence? Yes. I walk home with Sayori once more. But today Sayori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey Sayori. Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. Oh, uh, no wonder. Um, I was like thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean, Let's just say that one day Natsuki asked to walk home with you. Well, I just offered. <laughs> huh? I mean, you did. <gasps> Walking home with Natsuki, huh? <laughs> Isn't she so cute and fun to be around? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Ah, you admitted it! There's not even any point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe, but I just like to think about it. I like to ship you guys. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Say worry. I can't figure out what you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry! Everyone? Oh. Everyone is different. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. What Col do you mean? Coulter is like, I ain't walking home with you. If Natsuki said, will you walk me home? I said, find your own way home, Sayori. You have to be 100% positive in all of your decisions in life. And that's what this is. There's no ambiguity. There's no decision making. Colt's a god dang savage. 
<laughs> but it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. Okay, so this guy's just actually Coulter. <laughs> I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I'd hate to take it away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating to cover my own cheeks. And honestly, the way he responded to it is probably exactly how I would have responded to it. Say, oh. Where you just kind of push the question off of yourself in that way where it's just like, I mean, she might hurt me otherwise yeah, just I, joking I, about I'm it. I'm scared to see what she'd do if I didn't. But you don't want to say you already know that you were cool with it? Yeah, okay. Let's write a poem. All right, Colt, speed write. One per sayori. One per sayori. One for Natsuki. One for Natsuki. Two to two. Three to two with Sayori pulling ahead. Three to three for its Final Fantasy VII remake. <laughs> Four and Sayori loses the lead to Natsuki. Five, the lead gap widens. And it continues to go with six to four. Yuri has no points. Ooh, six to five. Six to five to one. It is now seven to five to one. Eight to five to one. Eight to five to two. Nine to five to two. Nine to five to three. 10 to 5 to 3. That's it, doesn't matter what you choose. Cue the uh, Mario Baseball. Dance the game! <laughs> I can't wait for the festival. But isn't the whole day at school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food like mochi? Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Are you saying you don't like Squidward? Uh, you of all people? Um, I didn't say that. I'm cultured. I like Spongebob. <laughs> Besides, what do you mean, you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. <laughs> eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Yeah, <laughs> you rot. <laughs> Sayori sitting at the desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. Hey Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again? Ah, eh, sorry. Don't mind me. <laughs> Why are you saving? This feels like a con. You can go talk to everyone else. You upset her yesterday. Is everything alright? You think that's what it is? I'm... <laughs> you said I'd dump you in a flat minute. That's not what the god said. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? You just want to walk home with Natsuki instead of me. It just feels like you're a little off. Who <laughs> does it now? Sorry for assuming things. Daddy, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say that I've noticed anything about her. Maybe there is something on her mind. Well, you should go ask her because she's pissed at me. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Daddy. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Well, yeah, you told her you'd ditch her for <laughs> Natsuki in a flat minute. Not even ten seconds past. <laughs> Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside her head. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always is. Well, yeah, you would say so because she's always around you. Yeah. You're so funny, Daddy. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. You, you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, all right. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. She's like, get out of this club. <laughs> You're really bringing down the mood. You understand me? <laughs> hey, you. Are you just gonna sit here and keep staring at nothing? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. So I'm worried, stupid. I was just... I don't know. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right, I'm... Parfait Girl. Heck yeah, Parfait Girls Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. I pulled the first volume of Parfait Girls out of my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands and quickly turns it over to presumably check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know? I just wanted to make sure. Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended with Minori and Alice. Monica! Did you move my manga again, Monica? Uh, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. You think I'm too short or something? I mean... I knew it. Well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki uploaded the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Ah, there we go. Is this another new way? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> see, I can easily do it now. I can almost see. <laughs> I see London. I see Fred. Almost Natsuki's underpants. Gah. He's <laughs> banjo. Gah. <laughs> Natsuki the box. <laughs> what are you looking at? 
I, are you trying to look at my tush? <laughs> ah! The chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Kya! The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I'll try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands and the books go flying. I got you. Ooh. <laughs> Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor anymore that's beneath her. Gross! Gross! Gack. <laughs> Nickelodeon's gack. <laughs> Disgusting. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. <laughs> what were you thinking, you sicko? Everything okay over here? Monica, it was nothing, I promise. <laughs> I look down. Natsuki's kneeling on the floor holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There is a large diagonal crease along the page she's desperately trying to smooth out. Oh, I must have landed on the page. Suddenly she gives up and slams the book shut then throws it to the floor. Sob. She's crying, guys. <laughs> no! Look at her tears. Uh, I'll help get the crease out, okay, if it's partially my fault. God, but... you're the worst. I had no choice in this at all. I don't, I don't even care that much. I'm just having a really mad name and day. Well, here, read this poem. <laughs> I'll buy you a new book. <laughs> but you gotta walk home with me. <laughs> I pick up volume two of Parfait Girls. Ooh, Phantom said you crossed the lines. I literally had no option. <sighs> we'll set this one aside. This will help cheer you up for a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Look, she got that little smile. Tears still running down, but she yeah, got that she smile. smile. We're back in there, boys. Don't worry. <laughs> we sit in the same spot as last time as I opened the second volume. Are we as close as last time? That's what's important. <laughs> Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. Oh, yeah. She's surprisingly sharp, making note of subtle repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed at how everything ties together in this manga. It's not the manga you locked, it's the friends you made along the way. <laughs> I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. Hi, Daddy. Oh, she's so hot. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, I'll have to give it some more thought. Of course you Okay, no pressure. We're gonna smooth her voice out a little bit from now on. But whatever you decide to do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. Oh, now she's sexual. No, it's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll share my poem with you now, all right? All right. <laughs> all Let's right. see if we still got Miss Frost. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders Earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift in the sky, victim to the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope. Howling legends don't exist. Knowing legends don't exist, I thought that was an H. I don't even see that as an H. <laughs> but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. Glass of dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, and I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking before I can speak it. She responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, for your legends do not exist. And with their breath, she blows me back afloat. I pick up a gust of wind. Certain words you say in that voice are so aggressive. <laughs> like what? It's about beautiful and breath and blows. Also, we don't have any load me this time. You know. <laughs> You're like, God, no, I hate <laughs> Me like one of your favorite poems. I feel like learning and looking for answers are sort of things that give life meaning. Not to be too philosophical or anything, but it's kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. Are you trying loading her? Okay, she said the same thing. Thanks for listening. I'm surprised you didn't save. Um, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well. Oh, damn. <laughs> you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? <laughs> Probably not Suki. Uh, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. <laughs> well, then why does it say to not Suki? <laughs> Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? <laughs> no, nothing. I'm just a little tired today, actually. <laughs> Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? So we're not walking home together today? 
Well, you kind of told her. I'd walk Natsuki home in a flat minute and leave your sorry tale in the literature club. That's not at all what was said. I see you tomorrow. Or I could say anything else. Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. <laughs> Daddy sucks. <laughs> okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Did this weird? Did you say something strange just now? Hmm? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You devoted from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. How are they talking about? She said you three. Well, yeah, cause the other one's gone. Did we tell her yet, though? Mm -hmm. I don't. I mean, she could probably see she's not there. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll get through. Monica's not blind. Yeah. She's got those big, beautiful green eyes. She can Stop see everything. It. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Stagnant air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe? Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling what- <laughs> I just want to go on record and say I'm officially washing my hands of this situation. Anything that happens is on Coulter. Well, you chose this. No. You, you told one of the poems we're gonna get. Right That's now. fine, but it wouldn't matter because yesterday she's like, "What if Nasuki wanted to walk home?" <laughs> and you're like, "I would take that opportunity, and I would never look back in your direction." <laughs> so much for you two being all lovey dovey. Never were. <laughs> Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the oh, okay. festival preparations. That's so. fine. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Yeah. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for you, Yuri, worst girl can... Um... Do nothing. Hmm? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? She can try. I... I'm useless. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably be go a long way to give one of them a hand. No. Oh. You could always help me out as well. Thank God. So Monica just asked me in the weekend with one of my club members, tee hee. Oh, a whole weekend? Beach over? <laughs> Cole's like, God dang it, I'm saving. Sounds more like you're just making excuses for daddy to... I can just feel a choice coming up. What are you saying? Everyone looks straight at me. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me. Hold on a second. Everyone would have done the same. For Yuri to be worse, girl, you have literally spit in Sayuri's face at least three times. Coulter, every time Coulter turns around, he spits in Sayuri's face. They put her in positions where there's nothing else he can do. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Um, but... I agree with Natsuki. I mean, honestly, it would have made more sense to pick Natsuki because Monica's not going to actually be upset about it, but you got to pick best girl, you know? And it's a weekend sleepover deal. It's not just reading a little book in the corner. Okay, okay. I get it. Uh, it's technically most logical for Daddy to help one of you two. All right, I need that the Ron Swanson throw in the computer. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Fior, it's funny, I mentioned this to Hawk and Patchy before about Persona, but it's about a bunch of Japanese games. They always put the best girl as a side character that you're not allowed to romance. In cool. every game that has romance options, that's always how it is. Coulter likes Shiho from Persona 5. Yeah, and if I can't have her, just give me say. Give me something. You got on. You got Makoto, you got Haru, you got you're, Futaba. Your settling is my point. You have to settle. Say is amazing. I may actually pick Sale. I'm interested in those three dots. Yeah. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I hope this is not a bad choice. You didn't even save before you did it. I'll save before the first choice. Oh. I'm already kind of regretting this. <laughs> I mean, we're already neighbors and... Monica said Sayori was helping her. Jace, do you really hate us so that if I much? pick Sayori, I spend time with Sayori and Monica. Yeah. So it's a win. God dang it. I didn't think bad, didn't it? No. Well, they made the decision for us, boys. <laughs> well, bacon sounds like it could be fun, even yeah, though she's we we And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. I know, Mason, I'm so pissed off. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You make a decision and the game says, not that decision, Bucket. <laughs> second decision, it's like, <laughs> oh, wrong. Maybe if I would have chose Yuri, it would have said, oh, you think you're choosing Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki's the answer. <laughs> I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. God, I wonder why. <laughs> Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody oh. offering to... <laughs> well, when you say that out loud... Yuri, I'm sorry. You're out of the club. That's the only way. That way nobody has to feel bad. They say, you're going to see us walking home through a window oh. or something. Maybe we'll stay at Nasuki's house. Yeah, like, you never came home. Do the I'm giving you my number, okay? 
is 8675309. Now say it, 8675309. This is how bold we want women to be, by the way. None of this, hey, can I have your number? I'll walk up, hand it to you. I'm giving this to you right here, right now. No ambiguity. Call me later. Cool, but if that, if she did that, do you just throw the number? <laughs> she turned no, it around. No, I wouldn't. Not if, and it depends on the situation. But <laughs> You're like, if it was Yuri's number, I'd burn it in front of her. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. No, we gotta go to yours. <laughs> so Yuri cannot know about this. I think it's kind of funny watching how Coulter develops his relationships with these characters and also how straight savage he is to some of them. Coulter is a lot... <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess Coulter just knows exactly what he wants, but there's a super part of him that's straight savage. I can't believe this. Now, Siggy's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like I feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. Blood in, blood out. I'll throw out some gang signs for you on that, but I only know Crip ones. <laughs> It's already Sunday, we blinked and missed it. I decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. So this is Sayori's house? Nice place. I mean, honest to God, it is really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm really in on the balcony. Oh, another goddamn balcony out here! Yeah. God you damn. can almost see her sitting right there. Lord have mercy, she's sitting there with a gun waiting for you. <laughs> she's like, get off the property. She's looking on a scope, so I don't see Natsuki with him, so. Kick open the door, yo Sayori, what's good? The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange for her not to run down to greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Look at her new clothes. Oh, she's in casual wear. Yeah. Hi, Daddy. No buttons to worry about. <laughs> There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? How does she know about that? Wait, how do you know about that? Monica told me- Oh god, why did she get so high pitch? It's only natural for you to keep me informed about the festival preparations, am I right? Uh, that's true. Aren't you gonna be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. Sayori so stares in a random direction. She's got that Shawn Michaels look, like one eye on the window, one eye on the wall. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. Why can't it just be like it's always been? It's all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make a stupid mistake, you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. I'm getting punished for being so selfish. Ooh, what is Natuski is best girl. I don't want to hear any arguments from you damn mouth breathers. <laughs> She, she is very high second on my tier list, Swan, so I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Swan's like, y'all god dang mouth breathers, stop talking about anything else. Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders, and I shake her. <laughs> what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this, so tell me already. Ah, uh, stop touching me. <laughs> you really put me in a trap, daddy. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? <laughs> you're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, daddy? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Maybe I shouldn't say it in such a happy tone, actually. Maybe I should legitimately, like... You wanna reread that one and hit it with some more spots? I've had depression my whole life. Do you know that? Why do you think I'm so late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? I go to school. Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy into caring to waste by having to spend their time with me? It was a mistake coming here. I'm leaving. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. Yeah, you can't say nothing to that, can you? I'm in shock! <laughs> I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her, which is at least a week? Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me that? I was like, I was like why? That's a stupid question. Why are you depressed, Sayori? <laughs> it almost feels like I've been betrayed as a closer. Why the hell would you say that? We needed a choice on that. Oh, that's a foul. Foot and mouth disorder on protagonist 15 yards. Because if I knew I would have done everything I could to support you, even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Daddy. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, you would have had to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. This whole thing's a dang mood. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're hit. 
I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I want it so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together, that's the best thing for me. Then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> I feel like this calendar means something. Well, where it's tore off and stuff? Yeah. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feeling at all, Sayori, but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's shoulders. This time I put her into a tight embrace. Uh, Daddy? Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Daddy? Sayori isn't hugging me back. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Daddy? I if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. Your legs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. At least you diffused it. Yeah. Kinda. No. I, I don't feel like you really did, but you just put a band-aid on it. Yeah. I spent only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me, letting me know she's outside the front door. Wait, that's just Sayori's house. I think this is my house and that one's hers, maybe. Oh. Without delay, I opened the front door to let her in. Look at her casual clothes. Sup? Look at her little cat. <laughs> little cat. Jeez, don't make me feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird because you're not used to seeing me in this outfit outside of school. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Little did she know all I had in my fridge was a gallon of milk and two blocks of ramen, so I had to stock the whole house. Good. I bought two elephants worth of flour and stuffed it into one duffel bag. 30 potatoes. Anyways, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy flour bag from me? Well, it weighs three tons, so... Little do we know, like, Natsuki's, like, jacked yeah. on one arm. I carried it all the way here, you pathetic worm. Are you impressed? Yeah, I am impressed, not <laughs> It seems like I always underestimate you. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? I wish this was worded any other <laughs> way. I should have been a little more considerate too, but also if that's what you were thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body top <laughs> fuck here. Son of a <laughs> You really need to beat the crap out of this. <laughs> As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks her finger in the ice and it pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist and begins to break it. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. You're icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I saw how you beat that ass and I'm a little worried. <laughs> ah, stop! It looks like her fingers bleeding like crazy. I'm feeling a new type of way. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Look how cute her ribbons are, though. Why are you holding her so aggressively? She's trying to get that icing all over me, and you know I ain't about that. You think Sayori's just watching this? <laughs> she's like, oh, they're just baking, it's fine. Then she sees this. She's got binoculars, and she's like... You think she can see how cute the ribbons are from there? I, I had a feeling this was coming. <laughs> Oh, God! I take that sickie's figure and put it on my last man out the okay. It's been a lot more focused on relationship than I expected. I will definitely say that. Oh, the damn cupcakes are burning. <laughs> I may have to drop Monica. She just ain't working out. <laughs> I can't spend any time with her. This it. is where we enter the image of friendship with Monica over Nasuki's new best friend. We spent so much time focusing on the cupcakes, we forgot about the cupcakes. True. Stupid. This, this boy started simping hardcore when she got to his house. Yeah. He's like, yo, Sayori's really depressed. <laughs> also, Natsuki's in the house. <laughs> I said we didn't have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slow. Well, there was something done. It wouldn't work. You should have thought about that. <laughs> 
As usual, Natsuki blazes the blame on me. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. Really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me while Sayori watches from her window. And Natsuki looks up at me. We're in there. I feel her fingers gently clutch the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. What is happening? What a wacky time. My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it. We're alone now. Hmm? Ah! We were so close. Asugi suddenly jumps back. Crossed. Oh! <laughs> Did she not just tell me she wants everybody to be happy? What's she doing ruining the moment? Uh, you made your bed and I go lie in it. Say all right. Ah! Daddy. Sayori, just now. Oh, bull crap. <laughs> it's okay, Daddy. I, I just stopped by to say hi. Well, well you, sh you should have come a little earlier. I I'm already on my way out, so. Uh, uh, oh, really? Cole, she was trying to get over her depression to come hang out with you guys. Tell me that's not the case. And she came out, and she sees Natsuki about to kiss on you when she just wanted to spend time. And now Natsuki's being snotty, saying, well, I'm leaving anyway. <laughs> Dude, this is, uh... I see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off, and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <sighs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. I don't like that she said it like that. So I had to come here and see it for myself. I don't like that she's basically saying, I thought to myself, what if they're getting too close and it's more than just friends? And then it's like, well, I have to go find out. And that's what, and that's what she walks into. Tears start to fall down Sayuri's face. Why are you crying, girl? That's not all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Daddy? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart's splitting in half? Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Daddy. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me. It's true, isn't it? I was weak, and I started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Daddy, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. Yeah, you feel, Colt. I mean, not good. But it has to be this way. Ew. What can I do? Huh. I'm just gonna say it. This is abuse. More what? This is like, so you're dating somebody, right? You've been together six months. It starts to not be so great for one of you, and you're like, I'm pretty much done. But they guilt trip you by saying they're gonna hurt themselves and things like that to force you to be in that relationship longer. It's a form of emotional abuse. I know what you need most right now, and that's what I'm gonna give you. Ooh! <laughs> Wasn't ready for this. This is a save moment. Well, this is gonna be tougher than the last one. All you, homeboy, you, you don't get no sympathy from me. <laughs> what do I do, guys? Your friends owner, she just shoots you. Well, that's probably the best result, then. I'm not here to hurt anybody else. <laughs> Your rampage stops tonight. <laughs> Those are my true feelings, so there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. Daddy! Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around him. Me looking behind her to make sure Natsuki's not there where you're seeing this. Didn't notice the weak weak. Yeah, I kind of feel like I should have just told her, listen, we're just friends and we'll never be anything more. Sayori, it might take some time for things to get better again, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way as a friend. Ooh, That's all that is right now. <laughs> okay, I love you. I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? All right, chill with that. <laughs> I don't want to think about anything, you know? You just, you've been yeah. trying to push for that for six months. I want everything to be the same as it's always been. I mean, if we really are. A couple. Well, we didn't put a label on it. It's really, really scary to me. This was a mistake, I understand. Funny enough, I probably feel the same way about Natsuki as about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. You regretting that decision? I mean, partially, yeah. Okay. But what can you do? We can't quit now. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. What the? <laughs> <laughs> You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. What the actual? Yeah. You should take a little responsibility for her, Daddy. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Girl, what? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? Jeez. Oh, that means not Suki's gonna find out. I don't want her to find out. <laughs> you, you, you should have told Sayori you were gonna be friends. Hey, do you wanna check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. 
I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsui and Yurim's poems, or they're the ones they perform during practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. Percent. <laughs> Get out of my head. 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 Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But the poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. How you feel? I'm out on that. Daddy, what's wrong? I uh, changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Maybe make another save file. In case you really hate this. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help wake her up. Alright, I guess we're gonna call it there, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't this kind of a breach oh, of privacy? God. You're not, you're, you're, <laughs> it's not be bad. you're not feeling the vibes? I just know it's gonna be bad. Oh no, but you wanted Nasuki! Well, kind of ruin that. I gently opened the door. So, yeah, I had a feeling. <sighs> oh, hey, look, it's the boot menu from the game. What the actual? Is this a nightmare? This isn't real. There's no way it can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. <laughs> Reception occurred, see traceback.txt. I told her I know what's best and everything will be okay. And then why would she do this? How can I be so helpless? Let me get some Fs in the chat for Sayori. What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. It's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. But then why did I confess to her to make her feel even worse? And we've always been really sad for her. <gasps> now we big sad for her. Yeah. This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. I don't think the other option would have been any better though. I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, remained friends with her like it's always been. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend, someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. Now I carry this guilt with me until I die. Are you gonna try to do it? No, I just wanna look at something. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. Who <laughs> ripped Sayori? And now I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. Until we meet up, if you don't take anything away from my stream, remember, you're wonderful human beings. You deserve all the happiness that life can give you. Don't ever let life get you down. You deserve happiness. Keep a smile on your face. Be safe. Be good people. He been Velfor, I'm in Triforce, but this caboose is about to be loose and leaving the station. You take care too, Swamp. Everybody you guys, else in here. You guys have a wonderful night. We're out of here. <laughs>